Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to learn about multiplication of matrices. So in the last video, we looked at multiplication of matrices and I promised to make another video and that is what we're going to do now. So I want us to look at more examples of uh, multiplication of matrices so that we can get to understand in a better way. So if we could do a recap of what we said last time, we said that if we have a 2 by 2 matrix being multiplied by a, three, a 2 by 3 matrix, we said, now we can multiply these two matrices because we said that for us to multiply uh, two matrices, the number of columns of this matrix must be equal to the number of rows in this other matrix. And we said that the product that we're going to get will be a 2 by 3 matrix. So I want us to look at more examples so that we can understand better. So let me this time round use a 3 by 3 matrix. So let's say we have a matrix 4, negative 1, 0, 2, 3, 7, 5, negative 1, and negative 3. So that's a 3 by 3 matrix. So that's a 3 by 3 matrix. Let's multiply it by a 3 by 2 matrix. A 3 by 2 matrix. So let's have 2 negative 1, 3, 4, 0, and negative 7. So we can multiply these two matrices because the number of columns, the number of columns of this matrix, that is 3, is equal to the number of rows of, of this other matrix. So we can multiply this matrix and the product or the result that we're going to get will be a 3 by 2 matrix. So we expect to get a 3 by 2 matrix. So we expect to get a 3 by 2 matrix. Let me call it A, B, C, D, E, and F. So that is what we expect to get. So the element A, alright, sorry. So this element A will be the product of multiplying this first row by this first column, and then the element B, this element B will be the product of multiplying this this row by this column, and then this element C will the, be the product of the second row by the first column and then the element D will be the product of the second row and the second column and the element E will be the product of the third row by the first column and then finally the element F will be the product of the third row and the second column. So let me do it down here so that we can have so that we can have enough space. I hope that will be enough space. So let's start with this element A. We have said that element A will be the product of the first row and the first column. So what we do is that we multiply 4 by 2, yeah, this 4 by this 2, and then we add it to negative 1 times 3, so we're going to have negative 1 times 3, and then we add it to 0 by 0, which will be 0. So that will be element A. Let's go to element B. So for element B, we said we're going to have the first 
a column the first row multiplied by the second a column so we're going to have 4 times negative 1 so that will be 4 times negative 1 and then we add it to negative 1 times 4 so we have negative negative 1 times 4 and then we're going to have 0 by negative 7 so we add it to 0 by negative 7 so we'll have to make my numbers smaller so that they can fit on this space so let's go to element c element c we said it will be the product of the second row the product the product of the second row by uh, the this by the first column so we're going to have two this two times two so that will be two times two and then we add it to three times three so we have three times three and then finally it will be seven times zero so we have seven times zero so let's go to element d element d will be the product of the second row and the second column the second row and the second column so we're going to have 2 times negative 1 so that we have 2 times negative 1 and then we add it to 3 times 4 so we have 3 times 4 and then 7 times negative 7 so we have 7 times negative 7 and then let's go to element E we said element E will be the product of the third row by the first column so we have 5 times negative 2 so 5 times negative 2 and then we add it to negative 1 times 3 so we have negative 1 times 3 and then we're going to have negative 3 times 0 so that will just be negative 3 let me just write negative 3 because of space and then finally let's go to element f so for element f we're going to have the third row by the second column so we have 5 times negative 1 so that will be 5 times negative 1 5 times negative 1 and then plus negative 1 times 4 so we have negative 1 times 4 and then negative 3 by negative 7 so then we add it to negative 3 by negative 7 all right so let's work this out let's work this out so let's start with a so we have we have 4 times 2 that is 8 and then plus negative 1 times 3 negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 and then plus 0 so it will remain that way so we're going to have 8 plus negative 3 which is simply 8 minus 3 which will be 5 so the value of element a will be 5 let's go to element b so we have 4 times negative 1 will be negative 4 and then we add it to negative 1 times 4 that will be negative 4 and then finally we have 0 times negative 7 will be 0 so we have negative 4 plus negative 4 so we have negative 4 negative 4 that will be negative 8 negative 8 and then let's go to element C we have 2 times 2 which is 4 and then plus 3 times 3 which is 9 and then plus 7 times 0 which is 0 so we have 4 plus 9 which is 
13 then let's go to element d we have 2 times negative 1 which is negative 2 and then we add it to 3 times 4 3 times 4 will be 12 and then we add it to 7 times negative 7 so negative 7 times negative 7 will be negative 49 so we have negative 2 plus 12 minus 49 so that will be negative 39 so that is going to be negative 39 so we have negative 39 and then let's go to element e we have 5 times negative 2 that will be negative 10 and then we add it to negative 1 times 3 there will be negative 3 and then we add it to negative 3 so plus negative 3 so that will be negative 10 minus 3 minus 3 so that will be negative 16 so element e will be negative 16 and then finally element f will be 5 times negative 1 that's negative 5 and then we add it to negative 1 times 4 that will be negative 4 and then we add it to negative 3 times negative 7 that will be 21 so that will be negative 5 minus 4 plus 21 which will be so that will be 12 so that is our 3 by 2 matrix that's our 3 by 2 matrix so it has 3 rows and 2 columns so that will be the product of multiplying this matrix which was a 3 by 3 matrix by a 3 by 2 matrix